I come to save the day. The Mighty House crew is on the job. This is Mighty House. All right, we're back, and today we're going to show you how to take your trim work to the next level. You ever get those miters that just can't get them to line up all the time? You're trying to shoot them and hold them together, and it's just always moving on you. So we're going to show you how to tighten up those miters and make them really look good, and we're going to do that. But first, go right down in here somewhere, click that subscribe button, uh, dingle on the bell, and make sure uh, that way you do that stuff, and we'll be notifying you next time we set out another video. So, you can also leave us a note down below. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is right here, Christie's. We, uh, we've got this on the table here in front of us. We've got some PVC glues. So if you're doing PVC work with uh, Azac or something like that, they've got a, they've got a clear and a white that uh, you can use. And you can put these miters together with that. You hold it together, glue it, it bonds both pieces together. It makes a really nice miter. But if you're doing your cabinetry, you're doing... Crown moldings. Wood, tri wood trim, PVC trim, right. stone, glass, anything. <clears throat> yes. They've got another adhesive that works great. Right. And that's what we're going to talk about mainly today. <clears throat> that's, this, it's called miter bond. And there's two parts. You want to explain how this works, Rich? Yeah. So we have uh, the tube with the adhesive. Okay. okay? And then you have an activator this. pen. Okay, and that's this one. Now, that's what's nice. One of the things they changed, this used to be a spray. Okay. So it used to be a little messier. You'd get it all over yourself or whatever. So the, how you use this is almost almost idiot proof. Almost? So all, almost. Yep. Okay. All so, you need to do? Yeah. All right. PSA. I'm gonna, all right, Put a couple I'm gonna... of drops on PSA. And this is like a medium body. It's not watery. Oh, yeah. It so is. it'll stay wherever you put it. So you put a couple, three drops on there. Did you smear it around? No, I just put three little circles. See it? You can see it looks a little darker. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. You want to do that? I, I smeared it okay. around. Either way. Okay. Let, now you see. take your activator pen. Uh, and and uh, okay. The on the opposite piece, not the same piece, but the one you want to bond to. Right. Take your activator pen. Just put a coat of activator on that. Oh, look at that. That's like a big sharpie. Yeah, and when you first take and open it up, you got to get a little out, right? So it may yeah. not do it instantly. Yeah. So I yeah, I just I just gave it a little tip upside down and it worked. Right. So then simply put the two pieces together. All right, sonar. Hold the top like hold it flush cuz now that's when you do this and you're going to hold it for 10 seconds. Give it a little squeeze and hold it for 10 seconds. Two Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Oh, Done. Mississippi's? All right, let go. Yeah. Oh, look at that! It held. Now here's what's cool. <clears throat> Not only did it hold in ten seconds. Yeah. It takes some decent force to snap this apart. Well, I'm okay. I'm going to let that sit here for a minute. I've got another right. one. Let's, I've got another. I've got an outside corner I want to shoot together here too. But the well, nice what I thought was really nice with this is so I have a finished piece here. Yeah. All painted white and pretty. The other side, one side's finished, one side's not. Uh huh. There's also the difference in the thickness of my wood. Those pieces an eighth inch thicker than this piece. But because I was able to glue that that fast, that instantly, the front is now flush. And if need be, I could actually add a screw or a nail. On the back side. Right, to make it more permanent. So if you're doing face frames or something like that, you could you go, you go glue them together first, and then you pocket screw it. Yeah, that, use your pocket hole cutter, do yeah. all your holes, then go ahead and glue it up with this, and then run your screws in. Because typically you use that, uh, it's a pair of vice grips with the plates on it that keep everything tight. Go in here. Okay, so I'm going to put this together. So it does give you a little bit of time to, like, Hold it. And Align it. it. You got two, three, two, three seconds, and then you're done. Two, three seconds. Yeah, and in ten, you're done. All right. I didn't start counting. Did anybody count? <laughs> I, you're probably ten good. Seconds. You, are you sure? Yeah. Are you I'm, sure? I'm I can sure. let go, Sonar. I've got a clock over here. I think you should be okay. You, are you good? I'm good. All right. I'm gonna let go. Hey, look at that. It held. Wow. So there, I did an outside corner there. I also did a miter. 
So if you were doing door casings, you could miter those together, especially when the, you know, the walls are never perfectly straight. No, that's why you always want to miter everything, glue it together, um, you know, let it sit, cure, and then just hang them as a pre-case so that you don't have to play with them sliding and moving. Your miters are always, and then you just kind of adjust your legs to get your quarter inch reveal. Uh, it's also great for crown molding on cabinets because now I can take my lengths, I can glue them together, and then I can just go up there with a brad nailer and just throw a couple of pops in them. Right. And I'm done. Right. You know, so this, now, the, here's the cool thing. This is just junk put together a minute ago. Right. It will break. Uh-huh. But that takes a lot more effort than you'd think. It took a lot of force to get it to go. Yeah, it, it's not going to just come apart by bumping it. That's two pieces with me, you know, literally trying to break it loose. Right. It's pretty impressive. Excellent. All right, so. Would you, would you want to, to get this actually on where you are going or just the molding pieces together not not actually put it up i would say the molding pieces more so it depends on the size of them like if ron was doing a small jewelry box with those little pieces sure glue them on there but if you got an eight foot piece of crown you're never going to be able to hold the other end where you want it and if it dips it's glued there <laughs> yeah but the other thing you know, is so you got to have some common sense with this but and I think that's why they call it miter bond. It's really best for your miter corners at, for at least, it, it'll definitely bond the corners together permanently, right? If you were doing baseboard or door casings. Right. Because all you're looking to do is hold them in place so that you don't have to play with them. And you can go up there and just shoot the perimeter, the outside with two and a halfs and the, you know, the perimeter with brads or with inch and a quarter. Right. And you're good. So, so I mean, it's a great product. So normally, I haven't thought about using it in casings until I just did this, but... Normally, I would do this for crown molding around outside corners where, like, you're, you've got an abutment of the wall coming out and you want to wrap it on two sides. I glue, mm -hmm. I pre glue that all together, and then that way I can just slide it up there all in one shot. And, that, uh, and I'm not trying to hold three pieces together to get it around that outside corner. Um, right. Or, or you've got a cabinet, a three foot wide cabinet, and you've got returns on both sides of it. You can pre glue that whole assembly. And then slide it and then up just on the slide it on there. And it, it, it comes out great. But I think I'm going to start doing my door casings this way, too, because usually, you know, you can never get the, the outside miter to line up perfect. And you're always putting a shim back there to get it all lined up as you shoot it together because you don't want one face to fall back on, it, on the other one. So by pre-gluing this, um, now I can right. also go through and pin this end. And now I can yeah, years ago, I had my millwork company, if I bought the doors from them, they'd make up all my window and door casings, and they, you know, they'd come out measure, they'd spline the corners, and it's just the simple two and a quarter inch door casings and stuff. Right. Uh, most of what we use down here is one by four, or at least four and a quarter inch casings. <clears throat> Nobody pre-does it for us, but the last house that I trimmed, um, I used a biscuit joiner and okay. put all my corners together with biscuits, laid them out to dry, and then all we had to do the next day was just come out, stand them all, and shoot them. Right. With this, this would have done the same thing just as easy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And it's a lot faster. Yeah, it's definitely faster. So I, I, really, I really like this stuff. Um, and, uh, again, this is Christie's, like you can see. Uh, and uh, they have the PVC glue, and then they've got this, this miter bond. And the miter bond is some really cool stuff. So you've got that right there is the uh, adhesive, and then you have the activator. And you're gonna do, again, right. like we said, adhesive goes on one side, activator goes on the other. And I, I like the pen versus the spray, like you said. The pen, that worked out really well. It goes on really nice, it's just like a big short. Goes where you want it to, not just everywhere. Correct. So, and the Christie's PVC, we do a lot of PVC trim work down here. Um, so we use PVC panels for soffits, the V-joint tongue and groove. We use uh, sheet goods, you know, three quarter inch or three eighths thick. Right. Um, we make into different designs for corbels, for brackets. Um, all of that stuff is applied with the Christie's PVC cement. Right. Um, and when you stick it up to a soffit, you're good. <laughs> it's not coming down and, you know, we're talking hurricane. Yeah, yeah, that, that's good. I'm, I've got an outside project I'm going to be starting next week. So this is all going to go out. On, on that job and uh, I'll, I'll be giving it a good test but yeah so like for pvc columns i like using the lock miter bits you run that down your corners yep 
and then you use that glue, it can't slip or slide. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about it. Right. You got it's three done. sides, you can slide it on there, and you lock your backside in, you're done. Yep. It works yep. really well. Okay. Christie's, uh, what's the website there? That'd be tchristie.com. tchristie.com. We ran into these guys down at the uh, Builder Show when we were down mm -hmm. there, and we uh, talked them up pretty good. They sent us some product here to give a try, so we'll be, uh, we've, I've gave it out to uh, my crew, and uh, those guys are going to be starting to use it, and we're going to use it, and maybe we'll uh, report back, but so far. Um, I was playing with it all day work. today. It's yeah. good. So I'm going to see if I can break this. Yeah. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah, you, that, you will be able to break it, but. Yeah. But, I mean, that took some Not force. by breathing on it. No, no. I mean, even if. Even if you were shooting that to the wall and it was a little out of whack, it wouldn't have come apart. No. And talk about a nice, clean look. It makes your miters mm -hmm. look perfect. That, that'll that make right. me look like a better carpenter than what I really am. <laughs> for an electrician. Yeah, for an electrician, exactly. All right, with that, I want to say thanks to, again, Christie's for sending us this product and uh, try out the glue and the uh, miter bond. And with that, yeah. we'll say keep it square and level. Until, Until next time. time. Until next time. There you go.